So I just woke up this morning and I got this light in the mail. Now I suspect this is exactly what I'm looking for, the DJI drone. The package itself didn't seem to be this big, oh it's not that heavy. So let's open it up and check out what is inside of that awesome drone. I'm leaving all the excitement for you guys. So you can see exactly what's in here. Okay. It doesn't take this long to open it, but I want to be careful so I can put it right back in the box just in case. Alright. Whole package right here. Let's get it out. See how it looks like. Exactly what I suspected. This is the DJI Mavic drone. This is the box for it. It's really simple and small. Let's see how it opens up. You know, it reminds me of an Apple product. It really does. Like all the white all around this. It's just the way it's neatly packaged and everything. Look at this. Compatible in the Apple Store. Oh, available in the Apple Store. Get it on Google Play made for the iPhone. Really cool looking box. That's it. It looks like a, one of those laptop bags. It's not a laptop. Let's open this up. Here it is. I've been waiting for this for a whole entire month and it's finally here. We got the control right here. We have something else in here as well. Let's check it out. The power cable, and I like that they have this plastic on top of it so it doesn't get scratched, so you can still charge it with this. That's awesome. What is this? That's cool. It's like an instruction booklet, and, it, and it's really packed. The way it's packed is like super duper looking professional. So here's the small book right here, how to use it. Like really small book. What's in the box? The Mavic itself, another one. <laughs> another book right here. This one is the biggest one. And this is the disclaimer and the safety guidelines. It's actually bigger than the manual. And this one. What's that? The Jack Carroll Air Force, 48 hours. Okay. Whatever this is. Now, one thing you guys have to keep in mind if you are in the United States, you have to register the drone with the FAA. It's a very, very small fee. And then what you have to do is just post a small number that you get on it somewhere on the drone itself. So this is it here. So that is the control. Let's take a look at the control again. Right here is some kind of button. Still looks like a video game control so you can go. It's really awesome actually. I like it. This is the antenna right on the top of it. Oh there it is. Just turn it on. The batteries are 18 percent. I didn't even read the manual. I have no idea what I'm doing whatsoever right here. So those things right there are probably to make it go up and down. I mean when I get familiarized what I'm doing with this I will get a better idea with what I'm actually touching here. I don't even know. So this looks like something interesting. I'm just 
pressing on that. So I think something is supposed to open here. I'm just showing you the whole experience right out of the box. And I still can't figure out how to open this. There's two things on the bottom too. I have controls. I like the controls. I have no idea how to move the antennas and I don't want to force anything before I figure out how to use it. Alright, let's turn this back on. Okay. The recorder is right there. And I like the recorder that it's going to be right on the drone itself. Here is the return to home, the power button. Some other controls. I wish I knew how to open it. Oh, this thing right here. Alright, this is a sport mode right there on the back. That's cool. Sports. Let's get to the other things in here. Alright, what we got here? USB charger. That's for this. Just to save some space. So you gotta plug this back in here. And you gotta get this out of here, otherwise it's not gonna plug in. Here is something else here. I don't know what this is, so I have to look. Very, very small. Hmm. I got no idea what this is. Okay. And another one of the same exact thing. I suppose I'll figure this out later on. What's this supposed to even be for? I think it even says on it. Huh? No, it doesn't. Something alright. Don't know what it is. Okay. And the drone itself. Let's get that out. Here is the compartment for the camera. Now, you could potentially fly it with this thing on it. And I don't think it's recommended because the view is going to be definitely distorted and this thing is probably going to fall off in flight. I bet it will. Now it doesn't say if it's supposed to be on it or not. And I have no idea. Maybe it's supposed to be like that? I have no idea if it's supposed to be flying with this or without. I might try it with it. I put it back on it. It's fine right now. Oh, this is cool you can put it right here so it doesn't get scratched the dome itself okay now this is very very cool the size of this is just amazing this is like the size of my hand that's how small this drone itself is so it says turn off the power okay press once this is simple and hold for two seconds okay should i do it yeah Press once, hold for two seconds. And it's on. Oh, maybe it was off. Let's try it again. Press once, hold for two seconds. I assume it is on, but it doesn't make the, any sound. Or maybe I just turn it off. Okay, press once then press again and hold for two seconds oh okay my mistake so you press once and then you press again and hold for two seconds that's all you have to do okay so i turn it on now i'm gonna turn it off press once again and just wait you have to figure it out I'm waiting for it to turn off again. There we go. Okay, this was a little confusing here when I turn it off, but it's very similar with, with all the DJI's ones. Now, it looks like this, the, the, the front propellers are on it already. Right there. Now, there's two more propellers right here. And they're not with anything. So, here we have one of the legs, we're going to be putting it up here. The second leg is on the bottom, with the propeller itself. 
which looks like it's kind of backwards. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. So let's propel us right here. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be like that. That's what happens when you don't read the manual and you just open up a package. You can't, f oh, there it is. Okay, so you just pull it like this. It's really simple. All you have to do is to open it up. Let me show you again. There is the legs over here. You just pull them out. Okay. And this, you pull it up toward you once. Okay. All right, that's it. Now, we have the propeller already installed on the back. The front is missing propellers. So we have to go in the package itself and look for them. So I'm opening up the package. And here is the extra propellers right there. I like those bags. Open it up. Okay, we get one. Got two. And we already have two of them on it. So those are, those are the extras right here. Three, four. So we have two extras just in case something happens to them, which is kind of cool. I like the bags, really nice, awesome looking bags. So here are two more propellers right here. We have to put them on. So what you have to do is just make sure that each propel has a a circle and it doesn't as you can see one has a circle one does not so the one of the circle goes with the circle itself as you can see there is a little bit of a circle on this and this one has a circle too so they go together same thing on the other side as well this one doesn't have a circle and this propeller doesn't either so they go together as well so you put them in after you match them up like this you push it down and then you just move it a little bit to the side and it's gonna snap right inside that's it it's really simple more simple than I made it to be same thing here you have three different legs right here so you, you can see it right there one two three three different holes one two three I'm putting it right inside there into the holes themselves you're pushing it in so you push it all the way in let's do it again now you're going to be either locking it moving it this way or unlocking it moving the other way around so push it in i just locked it in same thing push it down push it out and it gets unlocked it is that simple let me show it again just in case some of you guys missed what i'm talking about okay so here it is three different holes one two three right here you have to match the circle one with the circle itself and this is just white as you can see semicircle okay that's the correct one putting it inside right there pushing it in a little bit in all the way down and now we're going to be just spinning it a little bit now it's locked in so that's all you have to do and then you have to just align it like this the propellers before it's going to be ready for the flight same thing for this one too now all i have to do next is to charge my dgi and then i'm going to be showing you guys how this thing is flying and how much i like it all this like it of course it's going to be an honest review so that's going to be next. I just wanted to show you the control itself. How do you get it out? It's very simple. Over here. And you just press it toward you. That's it. That easy. So the antenna is out. Same thing right here. To get this part out. There is a button right there. Press into it. All the way in. See? Like this now what we're going to be doing is just moving it out right there there it is 
So what you can do next is of course you can put your phone right in here. That's what the phone actually goes into. And the antenna itself could be put right down back in. So really you're supposed to be flying it like this. Phone right here. The view right there with the extra controls. And now we have the antennas. Just to show you how it looks like. Really cool. It's like a video game. Now I want to show you up close and personal the DJI drone itself and how you go about and charge it. So first off, we're going to be showing you the drone, how you charge the drone and get the battery pack out of them. First thing first, to get it out it's very simple, there's two buttons on the side here, there's one right there, one right here. You press on them and then you get the battery out. So I pressed on it, the battery just comes out, really simple. Now to charge it, here is the charger. So all you do is you take the DJI charger itself and all you need to do here is connect the power cord to it because obviously it's not going to charge without the cord being inside this thing. There we go. Make sure you pull it all the way in. Next, what we need to do is here is the charger and we can charge. We can charge the drone, right? No. There's nothing to charge here. You're going to be charging a drone with no battery. That's not going to do nothing. What you need to do is to charge the battery itself. So here's the charger. And here is the battery. Snap it in, all the way in, securely. Now all we have to do is find an outlet and stick it in. I just want to show you how small the battery is right here. Very, very cool. Next thing what you have to do is to go into it and charge this, the control itself. So we have the USB cable right here. And you can have, if you have an Apple USB charger or just any smartphone charger, you can plug this into it, into a wall out to it or into your laptop. Now we have to find the USB here as well, right in here, right in the bottom. We have to go in here, make sure it goes the right way in. That's it. Now, all we have to do next is, of course, stick this part right into the wall charger, which is going to be, of course, now you might actually ask me, this might not, not actually work into a USB charger, which reminds me, those cables so let's take a look at the cables we found over there. So those, so those cables that I didn't know initially what to do with them, now this actually makes a little sense here. What was those cables all about? And now it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. What are those cables anyway? I'm trying to figure out right now. No, I thought that those cables go in here, but no, they don't. We have to figure out some way to charge this thing. Right, the second part of charging the DJI. Of course, after we connected the battery to this, next thing you want to do is connect it to the control itself. All you have to do is very simple. Take the cable, connect it in here, and now we're going to connect this right to the control itself. I'm going to go all the way here. There's a small thing that you get out. And we are connecting this right in here. So you put it the right way. There we go. So now we have a double charger here. So we are charging both the battery and the control at the same time if you want to do this. Or you can charge one of them at a time. Which is kind of cool because you only need one device 
to charge two different items simultaneously, which is awesome. Now, if you want to charge one of them at a time, you can just unplug the USB one right here, and we can just charge the DJI um, battery and skip the control itself. Or just get the battery out of here and then just charge the DJI control. There we go. It is that simple. Next thing we're going to be doing is showing you the DJI Phantom again because it is so cool. DJI Phantom. After we charge the battery, we're going to be putting it right back in here, like this. And we have to just apply a little bit of pressure so it snaps right back in. Make sure it snaps, otherwise it's not correct. Just want to show you how it looks like. It is a piece of artwork. It feels substantial and heavy, which I really like with drones themselves. Let's go to the back of it. Take a look at the back. It has sensors. Those are landing sensors. So when it comes too close to the ground itself, it's going to be a lot easier for it to land. It really needs those sensors. Those are proximity sensors that tell it where to actually land. So before it lands, you don't want it to crash land. This is why DJI itself is a leader in this technology. Here it says the DJI Mavic. Here is the whole entire enclosure that I told you about. You can take it out if you want better pictures, but then again, this is not going to be protected. So we have to try to do it both. Take a look at how well built it is. It doesn't look like any wires are coming out or anything like it. It looks really impressive. The only thing you could see is this right here, a little bit, but there's nothing else that it could actually do about it. Looks like a spy robot from the future and if you told me this like years ago that i'll be holding a flying drone that is the size of my hand i'll be like get out of here that's how much i'm impressed with this item itself here this is like the future is in your hands now if you ever want to open it it does and it can be opened but you have to have a specific um toolkit to open it so you can't just open it for regular school drive you have to have a special kind of school drive to open it they wanted to make sure nobody just goes and opens it just for fun because it definitely might ruin the experience of flying this awesome item so here are the legs for it to land so it really uses four different things to land two different legs right here and two different right there there's a really miniature amount of landing gear for it. So there it is, piece of artwork, and you can tell which is the font by this a little bit of uh, paint right here. And this is the back. So we'll see how it goes when it's gonna go actually flying. And then I'll give you the final verdict of this awesome drawer. Now it's time for it to charge for the next two hours. Oh shit! Okay, there is a drone. The battery got ejected. What's the battery? Okay, here's the battery. And here's the propellers. One of them broke out. Let's take a look at what happened. Here's something else here. Okay, damage report. Scratch right there. You can see that right here. This thankfully didn't break because it had a protective unit on it. It fell somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. That's not good. 
this just broke off right here one of the landing gears broke off this is done right there you can see the propeller is gone broken this one broke right there this one also broken those propellers are not built like the ones at the previous one the DJI Phantom has much stronger propellers or something because those could take a lot more abuse than this so it's not broke too okay other than that body looks in good shape there is nothing else really wrong with it so we have to go we're gonna be putting it back in the air we're using the replacement propellers for it and see if we can get it up again and see if we can inspect the damage now I don't really recommend to fly with broken propellers but I do have two replacement ones so we can do a very very low altitude just testing it out to see if it's still alright and if it's still flyable Going right back in see if it turns on Okay, it's still turning on after it, after it fell pretty big to the ground. Mavic drone crash aftermath. I really want you to take a look at what happened to it and after it fell off from a pretty good height. So the battery does still turn on. I just charge it again and it is. Keep charging. Scratch right here just a little bit and actually I think it's part of this protective gear here. So the battery is in really good shape. 
other than a little bit of scratches right here and you can't really see it that much there was not much damage to the battery itself so it just popped out as this thing fell to the ground now this is a very uh, good product to tell you the truth after falling off and hitting itself not much damage actually happened to the item itself the propellers right here as you can see broke a little bit off there was a little bit of scratches to them as well and the sad thing is that this propeller right here the three things that keeping it together ripped off so this propeller is totally useless the funny thing is about this drone is that it can still fly that's right it can actually fly with damaged propellers i don't recommend you to actually do this and i did this a very very small a little bit up just to see if it can actually fly from a far away distance so it actually did now i did have to replace two of the propellers themselves to enable this to fly so not all of them were damaged there was only two that were damaged and it was still actually flying which actually tells you that even if this thing takes a hit it can still continue to fly and you can be able to actually land it even if it has been damaged now here's the sad part of this whole thing when it fell down everything else is all right with the body itself there is not much damage a little bit scratch right here but the biggest thing that actually happened to it is on this side right here and this is actually the two things that are the worst thing about this drone that i want to tell you right now is the following this piece right here i don't know why in the world they created this is the weakest part of the drone itself so if this thing gets hit it can break and it actually did that it broke right there right here now you can't really do much but you will have to send it to the factory back and then we have to take this item out and put it back together first off there is no replacement parts for this so you can't really buy a replacement part for it another thing is the gimbal itself right here and for some reason this actually got damaged i don't know how it did this and the thing is it did have the protective cover on it when it did fall down the protective cover actually fell off when it fell down but still there is no visible signs of damage in here but when you go about and you shoot a video with it there was like a really bad shake to it so i'm not sure how it did this and why exactly this part is actually damaged because everything else is kind of fine i mean yeah you understand that it did take a hit but still those things were made to actually enable to them to take a certain amount of damage before actually breaking and the GoPro itself, if it falls down from a very, very high area, will not have any issues with the footage. And this actually does. So this is one thing about the Maverick itself I actually dislike. So apart from this, apart from this clash, I will have to send this back and see if they can go about and fix the issues with this Maverick after it had the damage. And see how bad and how much I have to pay to get it to fix up so it was one expensive learning experience for me